Proper breathing and bracing, whether you're training for bodybuilding, powerlifting, aesthetic, strength, whatever, the number one most important technique thing that you can learn in the gym. I promise you this will make more of a difference to your physique and to your level of strength than any other individual technique change you can make. However, it's very difficult and it can be very, very frustrating, so you have to be patient with yourself while you're trying to learn. And breathing and bracing have to go together. You can't have one without the other. You can, but they won't be effective. They have to go hand in hand. I'm gonna start with bracing and then we'll move on to breathing because in my head, that's the way I like to do it when I'm setting up for any exercise, okay? So we're gonna start with bracing. Bracing refers to using your core to put your spine in a neutral position that provides you better stability on pretty much any movement in the gym. There are some exceptions, but for squats, for bench presses, for deadlifts, for machine work, for dumbbell work, all those things, you need to be able to brace properly. So, to start with, I'm gonna show you from the side what it looks like when I'm bracing properly. Most people are walking around with some sort of pelvic tilt. They either push their butt back a lot because they don't have good glute activation, and so they're walking around putting a lot of stress on their lower back, or they push their butt way forward and they walk like Daffy Duck, which is really no better. What you want, whether you're walking around, whether you're training, whatever, is to have a neutral spine position. A neutral spine position is start with your lumbar spine, okay? Lumbar is down here. You're gonna use your lower abs. You're gonna squeeze your lower abs to pull your hips directly under your shoulders, okay? So I'm squeezing my lower abs here. You can see how I flexed a little bit, and that's gonna pull my hips underneath me. I'm also squeezing my glutes. Now you can brace without using your glutes, but remember, if you're training, you wanna use your body as together as a whole unit. Then you want to use your upper abs to pull your shoulders over your hips, right? So then you have this one straight line from your shoulders, from your feet really, all the way to your hips, to your shoulders. When you're thinking about squeezing your upper abs, I find it's almost helpful to think about bearing down as if you were doing a cable crunch. And for a lot of people, if you have trouble activating your upper abs, that can help a lot. So squeeze the lower abs, bring the hips under, bear down with the upper abs, bring the shoulders over. And then I just wanna make sure that I have a good neutral cervical spine, which is your upper spine around your neck, have a good position there. And that just means having a proper head position. That's gonna be different for everyone. For me, it means looking straight ahead and just slightly downward. Some people, depending on their structure, might have to look straight ahead and slightly upward, but you don't wanna be looking straight up and you don't wanna be looking straight down. That is a proper braced position. Remember that it goes hand in hand with your spine the position of your spine, that neutral spine, and the activated abs. Once you're able to find that position, it's not enough because you also have to breathe properly to support good intra-abdominal pressure. Intra-abdominal pressure just means that you're breathing into your diaphragm, right? So if I have, and I'll show you this difference, it makes a huge difference when you're training for strength because you need a big belly full of air in order to support a heavy weight when you're doing any exercise. If you don't have that, even if you're squeezing your abs, even if you're keeping your spine in a neutral position, you're putting a lot of stress on your muscles and your joints that isn't necessary and isn't gonna help you move the maximum amount of weight. So again, this is for powerlifting, for maximal strength. I find my brace position, right? Squeeze my core. And then I'm gonna take a deep, deep breath into my diaphragm where I'm really expanding my belly. And you can see how I'm pushing out with my, with my abs by taking a deep breath in while staying flexed, while keeping that neutral spine position. Now, you're not just breathing into your diaphragm. That's a mistake a lot of people make. And it's difficult to learn how to do this, but you're actually just gonna start with your diaphragm and you're gonna think about filling your entire chest with your air all the way up to your neck is what I think of, um, and to the, back of your, to the back of your thoracic spine, which is your upper back up here. So I find my brace position, deep breath, brace. And that's the position that I'm gonna hold throughout the entire movement. Now you're gonna have to reset that breathing from rep to rep because it's very, very difficult to hold it for more than one rep. But by taking that big belly full of air, you're giving yourself a better, more stable, safer base move heavy weights. Now, if you're having trouble getting that air, there are a couple different cues that you can use to help make it a little bit easier. The best one I've found is think about how it feels where you're trying to blow up a huge balloon full of air, maybe even like an inflatable raft, right? You take these giant breaths, you go 
that breathing out, you're not actually gonna breathe out, but that type of thinking, that type of motion or breathing is what you're going for here, okay? That's the best one I found. The other one is that you can think of almost like you're trying to make your belly into a balloon and you're trying to blow out in a, in a circle, right? In a 360 degree circle where you're filling your belly, you're filling your lower back, you're filling your chest, you're filling your upper back all with air. That will help you keep tight as well. Now, that's not what you want if you're training for aesthetics because nobody wants to have a big thick waist when they're trying to look good, whether it's on the beach or on stage. So, what you do when you're training for aesthetics is very similar. You still need that good brace position. You still need the neutral spine. You still need the ab activation. However, instead of breathing down into your diaphragm, you're gonna breathe up into your chest. I'm gonna show you from the side what a dramatic difference this makes, okay? I find this brace position. I'm gonna breathe out like I was powerlifting. See my gut? All right, now I'm gonna breathe like I were getting ready for a bodybuilding exercise, for walking on the beach, whatever. Same brace position, I'm gonna suck in with my abs. I can even relax my abs a little bit, suck in a little bit more. And you can see it makes a pretty dramatic difference in the tightness of your waist. It can be as much, if you measure, it can be a couple of inches difference. This is not something that's physically going to make your waist smaller, okay? I'm not saying this is some type of waist training activity. I'm not saying that this is gonna shrink your hip bones. It's creating an aesthetic difference. You look different because you're using your abs to pull in, not to push out. And that's really, really important because guess what? Just like anything else you do in the gym, it's a skill. You have to learn to practice it. You have to learn it and then you have to practice it or else you won't be able to maintain it. And that's really, really important, right? Nobody wants to see somebody walking down the beach, right? With this tight waist and all of a sudden they go. <sighs> so if you practice it, every movement you're doing in the gym, you're both gonna put yourself in a safe position, right? Because you have that brace, you have that core tightness, but you're also practicing keeping your abs tight, keeping your uh, air drawn in up to your chest and creating that, that illusion of a big upper body, a nice V taper and a nice tight waist. Those are differences between breathing and bracing and bodybuilding and powerlifting. This was a short video. Guys, this can take years and years and years of practice to really get right. So don't be discouraged if you try some of this stuff and you realize, hey, it doesn't feel right, it's not working, just keep at it. I promise over time it will make a difference.